Abdullah Abdullah and peace and blessings be upon his cousin, Muslim al Aqil. We are today, inshallah, lamenting the tragedy of Muslim al Aqil. And I'm honored to be joined once again by uh, my dear friend Sayyid Al Hakim. Salaam alaikum, Sayyid. Thank you for joining us once again. I believe you have some lamentations for us. If you can please just start off by introducing the lamentation and then Bismillah. Inshallah. So this is a poem um, where it's speaking, and we say that Muslim is no stranger. They killed the messenger. It links everyone together. The, the ideology of what happened from generation to generation, it all links back to certain individuals. So this is lamenting, starting off from like speaking in a personification way where it's speaking about the waves and the waves of the seas, mourning Muslim um, of what happened. And then it goes on to speaking the children of Muslim about what's going to happen to them next, inshallah. Muslim is no stranger They killed the messenger Muslim is no stranger They killed the messenger I question thee, see that Carried him and the waves below. How hearts breaking it must have been seeing him now go. Seeing the tears on his cheek that with your waves they flow. Not knowing the destiny of the fate tomorrow The courage that he possesses wish you could borrow Maybe that's where you could stop your waves, you would say no. Muslim enters the land of Kufa, seeing betrayal. How with this love for life will victory ever prevail they think they can capture Hussein but who is in jail locked by the shackles of greed in hell fire they wail by God, Imam Hussein, I Muslim showed the sent mail. And after Muslim, how will his children never smile? They go the rest of the days without the inspiration how cruel and heartless must have been muslims killers nation and oh children of muslim do you see your Father's greatness, the personification of courage and bravery. Muslim Ibn Aqil was such a heroic figure. He knew that his mission would be filled with difficulty And yet he accepted it from Hussein wholeheartedly Taking his sons knowing there won't be a return journey Finally, as Muslim ibn Aqil entered this new territory 
Ask yourself who sacrificed more than him on that journey. How must it have been like for his children in that city? Unwanted by so many, this place filled with enemies. No and Muslim, it must have caused your children so much fright. How difficult it must have been for them to sleep at night. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. A very, very beautiful descriptive poem. May I ask who was the Right the poem, this was, um, uh, was Sayyid Sa'id and Fatima al Hakim together. MashaAllah, very, very descriptive, very, very original, and I love the, the, <coughs> the classical uh, Basim tune as well. Uh, truly brings uh, back memories. There's one line from that Basim Love Mia which I remember uh, very much. The Love Mia is to the same tune about Ali Akbar's mother, uh, Layla, speaking to Ali al Akbar. Uh, and it's a very, very simple but beautiful line. She says, um, And so are Judy, you kill Hayat and Bismarck. And Saki, I will remember every, I will forget everything, my existence and everything that there is, but I cannot forget you. Mm. Um, and that is almost like a, a double uh, metaphor, not just for our mother's love, mm. but also for our love for Imam Hussein, Ali Salam, Ali Akbar, the fact that we can forget everything that there is in this world, uh, but not forget um, Ali Akbar uh, and Imam Hussein himself. I believe we have one more poem for us, inshallah. Uh, we are here today to lament <coughs> uh, the Kufa, the tragedy of Kufa, Muslim al Aqib, so please. Do take us there with your beautiful Zentum. lamentations. So this is a poem written by the poet our dear brother Muhammad Taqi Huda, um, speaking from third person about <coughs> just the storyline, how it started, what happened, Muslim, the spies, and then what happened when he was with that in the in the house, mm. and the lady that looked after looked after him, and then his final goodbye to Imam mm. Hussein. <coughs> <coughs> For you we cry Muslim. And with pain we cry Muslim for you We cry Muslim and with pain we cry Muslim He was sent by Hussein to gather support But the Kufans by Bin Ziyad had been bought A whole army waited for him Hussein thought If only he knew that they had sold him short and only a small group were left to consort I bear a message to Hussein he conveyed of the large supporters that Muslim had gained but just a few loyal companions remain people like Hani ibn Urwa were taken too long over them the oppressors have reigned Muslim and companions were being tracked down Obeyed Allah and planted spies around town They would report back to him with what they'd found And one by one Hussein supports as they would hound In prison with heavy torture they were drowned his kids with <coughs> a friend he kept and tried to leave 
that led to Hussein. He tried to retrieve and close gates made this impossible to achieve. And tired and hungry, roaming the streets, he grieved for the situation he could not believe. And he knocked on a door, and for what he asked, then question why his face he had masked. When he told her of his name, she welcomed him, and her son returned and learned who's sleeping therein. He told Ibn Ziyad and did a grave sin. And soldiers surrounded the house till next morning. And Muslim to surrender, they began calling. He was trained by Ali that there was a warning. And he emerged from the house and started warring until he he became exhausted, they captured him. Finally, in chains, Muslim was taken to Bin Ziyad. He was bleeding and his body badly scarred. He told them to Muslim from the roof discard. And he was killed and his corpse thrown into the yard until his last breath Hussein he didn't disregard for you we cry Muslim with pain we cry Muslim Hassan to him said Ali that was a beautiful recitation yeah. and I think it's something uh, so beautiful that tune particularly uh, it's uh, a tune from uh, the reciters and the people of Karbala are something you hear very often when mm. you go inside the shrine. Uh, something that really moves me and brings uh, tears to my eyes. And it's amazing to hear English words uh, put to that tune. So may Allah bless you and the poem. Inshallah, before we finish, I've just got a short poem to recite uh, about the beautiful holy city of Karbala and what we feel when we come to uh, Karbala and how the scent of Karbala itself uh, almost reminds us of what happened here. Just like scent, Brings back memories, leaving us to smile or despair. I recall the wails of orphans each time I smell Karbala's air. Sometimes we come across a place and we recall that we were once here. We recall things that happened here, events that happened here and there. When I return to Karbala, I see tragedy everywhere. Every sight tells a tragedy that is soothed only by a tear. When my feet step upon that dust and the scent of the dust is rising, I recall 72 men who with their blood held an uprising. Every man left a house of orphans and though they left children crying, if they were killed a thousand times to return to fight, they'd all swear. Whenever I see children cry, it's a sight that breaks my heart. But when I recall some orphans, their story tears his heart apart. When I hear that their tongues were thirsty, I feel my soul from me depart. When I hear they round from fire, well, this picture turns grey all my hair. Whenever I see a mother with a spark of despair within them, complaining of their son's absence, wishing for but a sight of him, I see Ramla striking her head, crying out, where is my Qasim? And I see Layla wailing in her tent, saying, come back, oh my Ali al-Akbar. Whenever I become thirsty and I kneel to sip a drink, I hold the water in my hands and what I recall, it makes my heart sink. I recall Abbas with that water, recalling the children, recalling children upon death's brink. He throws the water from his hands and the canteen on his shoulder. When I see something break in two, like when from men hearts are taken, 
I recall two broken apart and my being is left shaken. Whenever I see something break, I recall a back that was broken. A brother fell for his brother and of hands he had not a pair. Upon the earth's curve, the sun sets as if the sun, the earth swallows. I ask, how can the earth swallow suns mm. if they are ridden with arrows? Mm. I ask, how can the earth swallow suns when they are ridden with arrows? How did the earth accept Hussein? In his absence, no river flows. Mm. If earth knew he was within, if earth knew that he was within it, surely mountains from their places would tear. I ponder when I see his dome upon all the supporting pillars. By how many is it held up? And then suddenly my heart withers. It only took one spear to hold Hussein's head. It only took one spear to hold Hussein's head. Upon its blade, his blood would gather. And now millions, they come and stand beside his dome. But once there was no one anywhere. But once there was no one anywhere. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon Abu Abdullah Hussein. Islam is truly an amazing thought uh, and a heartbreaking thought to think that today while there are millions and millions of people here at the shrine of Imam Hussain Islam and, and in Karbala in general there was a time where Imam Hussain stood here and called out asking if there was anyone to help him and nothing brought him back an answer except the wind and we wish that time would be reversed so we could all be here serving Imam Hussain and ready to die for him for his, for his message and for the sake of his cause which was to revive uh, the Sunnah of his grandfather and to die as a free man. We are here every single night, inshallah, at 10 p.m. UK time, 12 a.m. Karbala time, where we will begin with a show called Welcome to Karbala, which is your opportunity to call in and uh, do your ziyarat uh, with, Imam, with, with the presenter. And inshallah, we'll see you uh, tomorrow. Wassalamu alaikum, jami'an wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.